This is an air distributor that is part of a hydrogen reformer furnace. Air comes in from the inlet opening. It is then distributed into 11 outlets to supply air to the burners for combustion. As we fly through the channel, the coloring indicates that air velocity is increasing the further we go. Ideally, the velocity would be the same throughout the distributor. The non-uniform velocity distribution becomes obvious when we look at the outlets. With our new design, we utilize dampers to control the airflow at each outlet precisely. The uniform color of the arrows represents uniform flow at each air outlet. The blast furnace is one of the most important components in the entire iron and steel making industry. The production unit is a several stories high vertical shaft furnace lined with refractory brick. Here we observe a part of the blast furnace called the raceway. By comparing the cases with and without pulverized coal injection, or PCI, we can see that PCI can save up to 40% of the coke consumption. Now let's observe the combustion gases as they leave the furnace. These streamlines show the flow of gases as they are released. After penetrating the cohesive zone, we are back to the top of the blast furnace. Finally, we exit the huge structure through the chimney. Two new cooling towers at BP have been designed to remove heat from a refinery. As we see here, this basin is filled with water. If we fly into the flow, then we can see the flow pattern at the bottom of the basin. Due to the change of geometry at the floor, there is circulation at the bottom. If we fly toward the suction bay, we can see the water flowing through the screen. And after making a turn, there is a vortex next to the screen. We can easily observe its shape, size, and location. After passing through the screen, we flow through the outlet with the water. This is a mixing tank used in the chemical leaching process to remove impurities from iron ore before it goes to the blast furnace. The objective is to mix the ore particles evenly with liquid. With uneven mixing, the accumulation of ore particles gradually destroys the blades. The orange color represents ore particles. By observing the flow pattern, we discovered that this design did not provide sufficient vertical recirculation, which is essential for good mixing. By redesigning the blades and introducing baffles, we can see that the vertical recirculation is now significant. Very good mixing results have been achieved with this new design. As an important part of the coating lines, preheating furnaces provide a uniform heating environment for steel strips before they are coated by aluminum. Now let's enter into the furnace through one of the burners. Here we are on top of the steel strip. The whole model is colored by temperature with red being the hottest. Now we are moving with the strip. Looking backward, we can see the temperature distribution on the strip. In this visualization system, we can easily check every corner and examine the temperature in detail. The visualization also enables us to observe all the flow patterns inside the furnace with ease. We are moving with the gases to the outlet flue. We can also check burners in detail. The burner design is very important for energy efficiency. The reheating furnace is an important component in the steel making industry. This furnace consumes natural gas to heat the billet. We can actually see the flame moving towards the opening door. There is significant heat loss through this area. The vectors also show how the hot fluid escapes during the door operation. To improve the furnace efficiency, we introduced a regenerative burner system. It utilizes the heat from exhaust gas to preheat the combustion air. Comparing the door effects, this burner system proved to be very efficient. Here, we can see the new burner system leads to a much higher heat generation. It also has lower energy loss from the door by balancing the pressure difference. 
What we see here is the top of part of a Venturi scrubber used to remove particulates emitted from a sintering plant. An inner wall was placed to form an annual flow channel in order to eliminate erosion. From this view, we can easily see that there are a few red areas. These indicate high shear stress and thus the erosion problem areas. Water impingement is causing the erosion. It also causes inefficient use of the water. We redesigned the scrubber to avoid water impingement. The redesigned scrubber allows improved circulation of water along the channel, elimination of erosion, less downtime, and higher efficiency of particulate removal.